It's funny, chat. I was given two coffees and two orange juices that I didn't purchase. Do we laugh now? Yes. Laugh! Da -ha -ha -ha! As most of you probably know by now, recently I donated my beard to save a bunch of starving orphans from a burning building that was lit by some koalas. It happens all the time in Australia, it's terrible. And in response to this, a lot of people said a lot of mean, hurtful, and funny things on social media about my shaven face. And we're gonna look at the best of those things today. This is the tweet, mistakes were made. Matt, not to alarm you, but I think someone might have stolen your beard. <laughs> Peek below for reference and my own expression. <laughs> Thank you for informing me of that. Awful. It's somehow even worse when I don't have a beard. You've done this before. I need to remember this every single time I think about eating McDonald's. <sighs> Terrible. I look like Captain Picard. Is that the point? You see no different. Shut up. Bald, bald, bald. My eyes! Shave your chest while you're at it. I have thought about it, but no. There was actually a time I looked into like lasering off my chest hair. But why would I go to all that effort? No one gives a fuck. The fuck is this? Am I meant to know what this is? Phineas and Ferb? Did Phineas and Ferb make a person into a balloon? Maybe I am out of touch. You remind me of Balloony from Phineas and Ferb. Well, I, I would have liked to have seen this message before the last one. I wouldn't have looked so stupid and out of touch. Matt here looking like he's gonna start singing with Blink 182. I'm not out of touch enough. I can't remember what this band is. I know this is a band that apparently Todd Howard really likes. Or specifically his face. 16 times the detail. Wait, we'll play exactly seven seconds of one of their songs so I don't get content ID'd. All, the small All these guys? Okay, of course I know them. I, I don't know why having no facial hair makes me a part of a boy band, but still. What's next? Shave the chest hair? Lose the sleeveless? I'm scared, Matto. Things are changing. Just a part of life. I have thought about getting rid of the tank tops. I have been told multiple times over the years People immediately judge me for my style of dress and judge me poorly on that basis. Either they didn't take me seriously or even didn't watch my content because of that. You reckon there's people out there who click on a content creator and they're like, this guy isn't wearing a tank top. I am not watching this content. Maybe I've just captured the unknown market of people who only watch people who, who are wearing tank tops. It, it could have been the cause of my success, really. Who's to know? <laughs> it's so bad. I don't know what to say to this. Uh, I, I guess this is an attempt to make me into that Chad dude. An unsuccessful attempt? Bro, look like Claude. I have a bit more detail in my face, but I can kind of see it. With the power of face app, I have... <coughs> I'm dying! With the power of face app, I have reversed your mistake. That looks really weird, doesn't it? It looks so unnatural, which I guess it is, but I think I prefer me without a beard. It's growing on me. Well, the not having a beard is growing on me. In a figurative sense. <laughs> it's just so low effort that it becomes funny. Thank you for your fixing it, dude. I do not look like Freddie Mercury. I'm just thinking of that joke that I made that one time during one of my speed runs. I don't know why, but you remind me of Freddie Mercury. It's because, you know, I suck a lot of dick. That's not true. I suck a modest amount of dick. <laughs> that is also not true. I mean, it doesn't look, actually look bad. You can see some weirdness like around the, the lip area and the hair up here. But I mean, yeah, this looks alright. I'm looking for someone who looks like this in real life. Wait, I didn't mean to say that. I wish I looked like this. Nah, I, I don't see it. Is that the same dude? A slight change in lighting, different camera lens. Yeah, I look like that dude, to some degree. This changes nothing. He just gave me long hair. Like they've taken my beard hair and just attached it like strand by strands. Have you seen the pictures of me? I, I used to have long hair for like a very short period in like my teenage years. No one understood me, man. I got so many comments like this that I look like MatPat. Kind of? This is a mistake nearly every man has made. Most learn, others never learn. Hide in the shadows, my friend. I have thought that most of my life where every single time I fully shave, I don't like how it looks. I don't know what it is about now, I am more comfortable with how I look without facial hair. But yeah, I do prefer myself having like a little bit of facial hair at the very least. Not gonna lie, you look new and improved, main character energy, I like it, matter of getting all the women now. Unless those women happen to knock on my door, it's not gonna happen. Lacking facial hair does not mean you go places. 
<laughs> no, give me the real Maddo back. I got so many comments like that, dude. Well, like when I start streaming, it was just people spamming, No! This <laughs> dog looks so cool with his little eyebrows. I do kind of look like my dad. A little bit. Maybe he's on the run from the authorities and had to shave to evade them, or since there is no facial hair, this must not be Dark Viper, but some random dude who jacked his account. Definitely one of those two things. Mistakes were fixed. Thank you for your orange filter, sir. They don't let this shit on Reddit. I can't stop you on Twitter, man. I couldn't remove your, your comments if I wanted to. The orange meme will never die as long as I have people who follow me on Twitter. So the out of context video uploaded was for us to prepare for the old look. Pure coincidence. It is funny that I now look like I did when it was like, what, 2012 or whatever. You look like Pelly's distant cousin now. Grow the beard back before we throw water bottles at you. Putting that picture of me side by side with Pelly, some resemblance there. I look like some sort of axe murderer. I'm gonna take you out in the forest and hit you many times with an axe. When you remember you can shave in Red Dead Redemption 2 after 30 hours of playtime. I mean, give it to that game that your beard actually grows over time. I hope they put that in GTA 6. <laughs> So I'm Shrek's human appearance. <laughs> Thankfully, my face is not that fat. I'm working to lose some weight, chat. I'm eating McDonald's every single day. Matter <laughs> with legitimate businessman just like Simeon. I'm looking at him like that's my future, man. I'm gonna lose all my hair and have to go to selling cars and shit. And claiming that other people are racist for not buying stuff from me. <laughs> Time to speed run growing a beard back. If there was a competition for the speed at which a person can grow a beard, I would win that shit hands down. Put that shit on speedrun.com. Thank you for doing this. Now I don't have to hate my face <laughs> while looking in the mirror. Yeah, I'm now your ugly friend that you keep around so that you look better by comparison. Which is a thing. That is a psychological thing. Um, so where can I buy the beard trimmings? Must be worth quite a bit. I don't know if you're joking, but I think someone would buy that for some amount of money. If only for the meme. People now comment on like my rambles because my thumbnails still have me with a beard that it's false advertising because when they click the video, I'm not, I don't have a beard. And I don't think I'm going to change that. Matto changed his look so Agatha won't recognize him anymore. Yes, I've gone into witness protection chat to finally get away from Agatha's phone calls. Bro went back in time. Do I really look that much younger? This is what happens when you never go in the sun chat. Being in the sun is responsible for like 90% of your visually looking older. That's why all the, the dainty women walk around with their little umbrellas all the fucking time, you know, in, in movies and stuff. And presumably in real life. I don't know I don't go outside. Why do you keep using this beardless filter matter? <laughs> You're scaring me. Some people did question that, whether I was just using some sort of filter, but no. This can't be real. You went from looking like some big Alaskan dude, big on wilderness hunting, fishing, etc. But now look like a 9 to 5 businessman. I'm not dogging on you. I'm just saying how cool it is that a beard can totally shift the look. I went from looking like something I'm not to something else that I'm not. How much facial hair do I need to have to look like a degenerate live streamer <laughs> who makes YouTube videos? My therapist, don't worry, beardless dark viper you can't hurt you. Beard beardless viper you. Nightmares become reality. <laughs> you have no conception of how rare that is. It's millions to one! Or at the very least, multiple thousands to one, because it's been that long since I've been cleanly shaven. What is this picture? I'm deleting this picture! It's there forever, dude. Just like that picture of me with my hair fully spiked up, like I did that time. Damn, I never noticed whether those eyebrows are thick. Yes. Part of the strategy of having a beard is to take away by, from how truly horrendously thick my eyebrows are. The fact that you shaving your beard gives the same vibes as Henry Cavill's Superman having his moustache, etc. being digitally removed. Surely that exists, right? Just like a filter you can put on OBS that gives you a beard. If they can turn overweight weeb dudes into attractive anime avatars with voice changes to live stream, they can give me a beard, is what I'm saying. We have that technology. This isn't Dark Viper AU, this is Matthew Judge. Honestly, Ah, there's no distinction between those two. I want to make jokes, but like, Dark Viper AU is Matthew Judge. Some creators have a separation of their personalities, the online world and the offline world and shit. Uh, I'm exactly the fucking same. I will, of course, harass people and talk about how Michael is not in witness protection. You know, talk about how everything's millions to one, call everyone disingenuous, dense motherfuckers in real life all the time. Bro, actually kind of rock with it. You should just have a mustache next. If you've ever seen that small amount of footage of me just with a moustache, you don't want that. 
I'm a plumber who's there to clean your pipes, but I'm not really there to clean your pipes, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> LP is naked. I need an adult. I am an adult. This is a photo from 2012. You cannot convince me otherwise. Oh my god, that would have been so good just to have found some pictures of myself that you guys had never seen. Uh, like, grow a full beard back, post those pictures and be like, guys, I shaved again. I just had to do it and see how many people catch on that it's me from like 10 years ago. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Facts and Glitches series, where I continue to showcase some more of what I've learned about Red Dead Redemption 2 in my over 9,000 hours of speedrunning the game, and from my awesome viewers. Yes, truly me without a beard is from some bizarro world where I have no taste in games. Using my burner account to tell you, you sometimes make me doubt my sexuality. I think I recognize that profile photo. Clearly I'm making Kanye doubt his sexuality, right? Dear fucking God, you look like you want to offer me an outstanding price on soap. What? This is an insult, right? Let's unsub him so he goes below 1 million subs so the beard spawns back on. That's exactly it, man. Now that I've hit a million subs, man, I gotta look more refined, more dignified. Gotta look more professional. Like, you see the professional? He doesn't have facial hair. And he's got over a million subs and he's called the professional. Second Instagram? This one looks more cursed to me. I'm smiling. Stop it. It's weird. Kind of looks like a budget Chris Evans. Hey, Andrew. Yeah, I can see that. To be honest, you look like Crocker from Fairly Odd Parents. Fairies! Don't take that out of context. Fairy Godparents! You look like Dark Viper AU without a beard. What a funny coincidence. You look handsome. You got rid of that yee ass haircut. Maybe now you can get some bitches on your dick. I can't remember if I did a different picture for YouTube or not. This got 33k likes. Like the most likes I've had of anything in a long time. Except perhaps, it got more likes than me getting a million subs after 10 years on YouTube. My shaving was more remarkable than hitting a million subs. Matt celebrates 10 years of content creation by looking 10 years younger. If only I could actually be 10 years younger. It's every 10 years of content creation, YouTube's like, Hey, you survived another 10 years, we'll send you back 10 more years. I don't watch you for a couple of days and this happens. You are the Vegemite of my life. I never eat Vegemite. You look beautiful. What? He is evolving, but backwards. The word you're looking for is devolving. Good thing GT Barber can bring it back instantly for a few hundred bucks. Yeah, but I'm short of cash right now, man. I think I'm just gonna grow it back naturally. If I was a girl, that face would be speed running through my heart. What? Matto is now officially in witness protection. I mean, if I did go into witness protection, I would shave off my beard. So, you know, maybe I would genuinely not recognize you in public without a beard. Because I'm going to PAX in October, I do need to regrow my beard before then, or else no one will recognize me. No! I've never seen this in my over 8,000 hours of watching Dark Viper. It's like that one episode where Spongebob becomes normal. You wouldn't even recognize me anymore. Not that you knew me back then, but it all comes back to me in the end. Is he saying I look like that dude? Or the song's appropriate? Could be either. Time to set up another Tinder profile now, Matt, a new start. I've never set up a Tinder profile before, but it would be interesting, clean shaven, if I would get more matches than I did when I had a beard. I didn't get that many when I had a beard. This is top level of uncanny. This is like AI trying to generate a human. This shouldn't exist. So everyone on Discord had the obvious response, which was... Cry. Furious. Pepe hands. Among Us, which I guess, imposter or sus. A very well done redesign of my profile picture to now have not have a beard looks terrible i am announcing my decision to unfollow gt5 speedrunner dark viper eu on twitch this is because i do not support the horrible things that the man does to his body it is grotesque and unnatural good luck understandable his head looks like it's been photoshopped on people say that about me every single time regardless of what i look like i'm j i just look so perfect that it must be photoshopped oh this is why people kept saying you're like that guy everyone dreams about. Every night all over the world, hundreds of people see this face in their dreams. If this man appears in your dreams too, or if you have any information that can help us identify him, please contact us. I don't look like that guy. Shut up. You can fax this stream or anything. A guy 
He looks like a guy, like one of those guys that has like a very bland face that just kind of shows up in your dreams. He looks very sinister. Like he'll steal your car or something. I mean, he's not wrong. This motherfucker clean. Uh, yes, thank you, Franklin. Oh my god, my mod changed. d related memes from having a bearded image to a non-bearded image. <laughs> Man who gets his beard shaved, chat. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! So yeah, that's the end of this episode. Wait. So that's the end of this video. And, uh, hope you're all doing well.